let's learn how to add grunge textures to fully editable text in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. First things first, locate your texture. I'm going to use FreePick and I'm just going to grab a simple grunge JPEG that I can download. So double check your license, make sure you know what you can and can't do with the image and simply click download and make a note of where the JPEG or PNG or whatever file you've used is downloaded. So I've put mine in my images folder. So when I come to place it in Illustrator, I know where it is. Next, come into Illustrator. File new to create a new document. So I'm just gonna use a standard web large and click create. Next, grab your type tool, click anywhere on the canvas and type out your text. And let's apply a few changes to this. So select it with selection tool. Let's hold Alt and Shift and just click and drag this to make it bigger. And let's change the font. So we'll go with Debbie. And also using the paragraph panel window paragraph, let's center align this text. Then use the align tools and align to artboard center, horizontal center vertical. And let's make this a little bigger with the selection tool. Once I'm happy with my text, come to my transparency panel. And if you can't find it, window transparency, click make mask. In the transparency panel, make sure you select the mask, not the texture. So select the mask and go to file, place, locate the texture you downloaded. So remember mine's in my images folder, select it, Make sure link is set so that Illustrator can reference the source file and simply click place. Click on the canvas and now you'll see it'll add the texture into the mask. So from here we can click and drag this JPEG around. We can resize it using the transform options. And once we're happy with the position of the texture, make sure we click out of the mask by clicking back onto the text. We can apply changes to the text by going to the appearance panel, so window, appearance if you can't find it and on characters come down and click to select a fill color and from the appearance panel we can use the fill and strokes to add new colors add gradients as search add patterns and whatever we like all from the swatches panels and at any time we can go back and change the texture by coming back to the transparency panel remember clicking in to go into the clipping mask and making changes to the texture, JPEG or PNG, or whatever file you used accordingly. And once finished, remember to click out and go back to the text layer so that we're out of the mask and we can make changes. Lastly, remember this text is now fully editable. So if I come to my type tool, I can click, I can select, and I can type whatever I like. I can change the font, I can change the size. And once I've made changes to my text, come back into the clipping mask, edit the clipping mask so that the texture covers the new text. And once happy, click to come back out of the clipping mask to the text layer. And there you have it, simple grunge textures added to fully editable text in Illustrator. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.